I am uh, Dr. Sarika Mahajan working with Tata Memorial Hospital for the last 15 years uh, with uh, the physiotherapy department and uh, it's a good opportunity and a platform to uh, talk about what we do in the setup of uh, oncology specifically for lung cancer patients. Lung cancer is not a disease only localized to the lung. What we are looking at whether the patient when they are coming to us how fit they are because whenever these patients come to us they come with multiple multiple issues with respect to the collection of fluid, the disease volume and as you all know that majority of the patients come with huge disease volume or they present in a later stage of the disease and that is why they come up with a lot of complications. So mostly the symptom which, which the patient comes in is having breathlessness and that is usually uh, resolved by doing an ICD insertion if the patient has a pleural effusion. So with pleural effusion there is chances that the lung is going to be uh, collapsed and patient needs to have a lot of breathing exercises which needs to be uh, help which is going to be helpful to them to reinflate their lung so that is something which the patient first of all comes and they want relief from that that is the major symptom the patient comes back second is fatigue how do you identify fatigue fatigue is going to be patient will be giving uh, complaints of difficulty in just walking a little bit of distance or sometimes they feel very tired and exhausted right of, uh, if they're sitting for a pretty long time so there are interventions which which will incorporate uh, improving their breathing techniques giving them relaxation there is a lot of literature which says that you know uh, having pulmonary rehabilitation going to help the patient in improving their lung functions reduce their fatigue so uh, we need to see such patients on a daily basis. We have been seeing these patients on the daily basis. Also, uh, most important is uh, with respect to uh, working in Tata Hospital, patients over here, whenever they are, if they are going to be operated, they are all referred to physiotherapy for a session called as pulmonary rehab session, wherein we usually teach the patient how they are supposed to uh, take care when there is fatigue or there is breathlessness, how relaxation is important, what are the uh, breathing exercises, what is the use of spirometer and how they are supposed to improve their oro overall aerobic capacities. Also uh, if patient is going for surgery, the 6 minute walk test gives a better idea about their aerobic capacity. Hence 6 minute walk test is vital for patients who are uh, suffering from lung cancer and is going to go for surgery. So based on these findings uh, from the 6 minute walk test we usually build our rehab protocol and we give them a exercise intervention program which they can do at home and if the patient is coming to the hospital we also get it done from there on the regular basis. There are many instruments which can be incorporated in improving their aerobic capacity like the treadmill, you have the uh, arm ergo or uh, ergo cycle, there we have a thera station, we have weight, uh, weighted station, we have a mini gym which can be used. Also there is something called as a virtual rehabilitation which can be used in such patients in improving their breathlessness or improving their, uh, reducing their effort of breath. So the, all these things can be uh, used and modalities can be used in order to improve their overall lung capacity. We have just spoken about what happens with respect to the lung but we need to also work on improving their functional capacity. So we need to find out whether the patient is working, whether he is uh, going out of the house, does he has any bone mess which is limiting him with his activities of daily living or there is any uh, issues with uh, because of which he is not able to perform his activities like patient can have arthritis, patient can have uh, metastasis to the bone because of which he is not able to weight bear, there is metastasis to the back because of which he will have issues in uh, standing, having issues with sitting. So in such cases we need to identify them, provide them with assisted devices or give them support for the back and along with that try and improve their strength because that is something which is extremely essential and in the long run the patient once becomes wheelchair bound or bed bound loses the interest to do any exercises with respect to pain due to the pain and the overall health deterioration. Uh, also when we are seeing such patients it's important to find 
other uh, other departments help okay so like if a patient has pain then what is the other thing which can be done for them so if required we can send the patient to pain clinic so that the pain medication once taken the patient will be able to perform better with us and also will be able to do functional activities of daily living so this is all about once we once a patient is seen in the preoperative setting right from uh, diagnosis till the palliative stage but also we need to see the patient post operatively so we see the patient on the very next day and as you know that there are many patients who are uh, uh, coming to hospital the number of beds for these patients is less so we usually uh, send these patients home on like fourth or fifth day post surgery if they are in a stable situation so it's very very important for us to improve their fitness initially and also start working on them in order to go let them go home independently with less uh, difficulty at the earliest okay so in the post op sessions also we usually start with exercises for them right from the icu we see how they do perform in the ward also and then what is the long term program they have to perform at home with that the patient is discharged so uh, for more videos like this please join lung connect thank you